I'm going to show you how you can make your own GoodNotes template using Canva using a free account. I usually use Affinity Designer or Affinity Publisher to make the templates for you guys, but I'm going to use Canva since it's free. And I'm just gonna make a quick Halloween template. I am super late. I am 20 days late for my October freebie, I realized. So I'm gonna make it really quick. You guys can follow along. That way you can learn how to make your own templates in Canva for your GoodNotes app. I am going to start here in Canva and I'm going to make a custom size. And I do 1668 by 2154 pixels. And I got this by exporting a GoodNotes template that was already in the GoodNotes app and seeing what size that was. You can use letter size A4. I just find that the pen sizes when you're writing are a little bit better when you use the size that comes with GoodNotes. So I'm gonna use that. The reason I say you can use a letter size if you want is because there's a lot of pre-made templates on Canva already. And if you just wanna grab one of those and use it, you can. But I'm just gonna make one here from scratch. I went through before and picked just a couple elements I liked. So I am going to make this kind of a dark theme template. So I'm just going to, I went to the elements and they have a shapes and then you can resize the shape. And I'm going to make it black. And then I found these cute ghosts. These are premium. You can use any element though. There's a ton of free ones if you're using the free account. So I'm going to go here and search Halloween. And if you want, you can go to this filter and you can filter by free if you don't want to or don't have a pro account and you can filter by free. I, because I'm making this a freebie for my website, I'm gonna use a couple of the premium ones. I found these two that I like. I'm gonna size them down a little bit and put them in the corners, make sure they're kind of similar size. And then I am going to use these white lines. They already had them in the elements. I searched lines and you can use a line tool like this and you can size it and space it to your needs. I'm just using this pre-made one. So I'm gonna grab these ghosts. I'm gonna hold shift so I can grab both of them. Let me see, it's been a little while since I've used Canva to make good note stuff. Okay, layer, I'm gonna bring it to the front so it's on top of those lines. So now I just have a simple lined paper page that I can use in GoodNotes for Halloween. And so I'm gonna go to share and I'm going to go to download and I like to do PDF, just as it is should be good. And I'm gonna download it, and then I'm gonna show you what I do to get it into GoodNotes. I'm just gonna drag this onto my desktop over here. So I get a lot of questions about this. A lot of times people will go to new, uh, and then they import. But if your template is more than one page, a lot of times it will just import the first page. So I like to go to the file itself that we just made and I like to share it to GoodNotes. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop this over. When I'm using my iPad, I use the share button and then I click share to GoodNotes. Um, but I figured out here, I can just click and drag it over here. That way if say you made in Canva, a you made a bunch of different ones here and you exported the pdf and it was three five ten pages and your pdf was that long you could drag it over or share if you're on your ipad and it'll be all of the pages when you open it so now you have your template in good notes and you can just start using it how you normally would I like to usually use my Apple Pencil to write, but here you could just use the text and change the color here to show you. Okay, so you could do it that way. Um, again, I usually use my Apple Pencil and I just write on these like lined paper pages. I am going to put this one up on my website, this uh, under my October freebies. Okay, so that is how to make a GoodNotes template 
using Canva, and these are completely free. Again, you can filter through the elements uh, and find all of the free elements, and you can use boxes or uh, squares for to-do lists, and you can, you can design your template however you want using any of the elements and the search bar. Just export, export it as a PDF. You can do a PNG or a JPEG. I recommend a PDF. But let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.